Yo guys, JPR Tech here and today I'm going to be making a video of what's in my bag video. Now it's not going to be one of those typical what's in my bag for like camera gear. No, we're going to be talking about what's in my bag for these things right here. So yeah guys, today we're going to be talking about what's in my emergency bags. And I'm just going to open them up and show you guys are some of the essential things we need to be safe. You know, when something, if some disaster were to happen, such as an earthquake. If you've seen on the news, Japan is on high alert. We're expecting a huge quake, one of those one in a hundred years earthquake. Um, when it does hit, we gotta be ready. So I got my bags here ready. I'm gonna show you what me and my wife are packing um, just for an emergency. And hopefully this video might uh, be helpful for you guys out there. You know, I don't know if you guys are in a natural disasters area zone or any disaster, even man-made disasters can be uh, similarly affect us in, in various ways. So we just gotta be ready to get up and go. And I'm just going to show you what are some of the essential things we need for that. So let's get unpacking. By the way, guys, a list of all the items that I'm going to be showing you are going to be in the description down below. Going over to the sides, uh, we have our lights. It's kind of like our headlights. So this is very important. I always make sure that any gear that you have or are using that requires batteries you regularly check the batteries or change them out constantly um, over here and there's another zipper with a little pocket we have a utility knife and we actually got this from the dollar store believe it or not a lot of different things in there such as uh, cotter tweezers you know you got the minus and plus drivers can openers and an actual saw yes an actual saw and going around the other side and again i have another light the cool thing about this one it does have an sos light feature you got the regular lamp it does have a different brightness you got the flashing mode and then you got the red light so this is really cool for sos when you got to grab someone's attention from a distance this light is really nice and the cool thing is this powered by usb so you could power that thing up and recharge it later well if there's electricity anyway you can charge it or a usb power bank okay, there's a little pouch here for the waste and in here i believe we have yeah spare key for our apartment these are some of these essential things we need so we got toilet paper this is like those Echo shopping bags. We got a blue sheet mat. And by the way, all of these things are purchased from the dollar store. You got wet tissues for wiping your hands or be cleaning before eating. Speaking of eating, we got emergency food and always check expiration dates. Canned goods. Now these also can last for a long time. And again, always review look over the expiration dates and make sure that you're still covered if you do find power you'll be able to charge things like the lighter and your smartphone uh, we're gonna have lots of extra batteries for your flashlights this one is pretty cool because it works as a flashlight but it also works as snsos lamp and if you're inside a hut or a tent, it works as a lantern. And this is also powered by USB battery, as well as underneath, you could just power them with AAA batteries. A brush, shaver, if you don't want to grow your beer. We have gloves, and this is a, actually a kit we got from the dollar store. Gloves, rope, and a whistle. So if you get buried underground, you could blow for help and this is a walking strap that way when lights from people's flashlight if they're looking for your body it can reflect and you're, you're easy to be found uh, we got pen paper and all your details personal contact details so passport information driver's license and 
my identification ID. And also don't forget to put them in a Ziploc bag. So that way if you're in a flood or something, they don't get wet. So lastly, well, something very important is to have a Bible. Never hurts to have God's word to give you a little bit of encouragement when you need it or to help others find a little bit of peace in trouble sometimes. And now let's put everything back and I already charged all my batteries. I double checked everything, ran through my batteries. Everything is good to go. So this bag is ready. We're ready for the earthquake with this bag. Gonna open up the other bag and see what we got in there. So let's go. Just like life, if you put the big things first or the most important things first, all the little, all the little things will fit later. So that's a little life hack for you guys out there. If you just take care of the big stuff, what's important in your life you will have time to have play time and whatever other things you want to do in life hobbies and whatnot but just make sure to always get all the important things there we go first bag is done all right second bag so first thing is this little pouch and in this pouch we have all our emergency stuff Band-Aids, disinfectant, we got a mask for 99.9% .9 alcohol wipes, uh, bands, just in case you sprain an ankle or something, you could wrap your foot. Q-tips, those are always nice. Tape, tissues, what else we got? Oh, we got money here, so always have money. So on the front pocket, we got these uh, temperature, like aluminum sheets. They just help you keep temperature. This is a really cool, it's a water bag. It's squeezed, but we can fill it up with water and have a nice tank of water. So if we find a water source, we can get some good water. A blanket. Inside the blanket, there are little warm socks and whatnot. We got towels. Oh, we got the tampons, underwear, shirt, socks, towels. And we have an extra change of clothes. Oh yeah, sweaters and clothing. So if we do get caught outside, in the elements we can still have dry clothes and we stuff. are two persons so pretty much this is everything we need to survive for just a couple of days so there you have it guys so if we were in some sort of end of the world disasters uh, we will be able to run away with these backpacks and hopefully in a secure location and be able to survive for a couple of days we have clothing for two three days food that lasts us for a few days as well and we do have water bottles outside next to these bags so i hope this video was helpful for you guys out there if you did find this video useful i would love you know you could help out the channel by smashing that like button sharing so other people get can get this useful information you know especially in the times that we're living in you just never know when something's gonna happen in your life and we just gotta be prepared with whatever way we can and hopefully with the emergency bag video that i just made show you guys you know was helpful in any way now if you do have any comments any recommendations i would love to hear them so please let me know in the comment section down below if you have any other any questions but also they're welcome as well so i really appreciate your guys support and time so you guys just stay safe and be good yeah hope to see you guys in another video bye